Can you help me? What? Nothing, I forgot. Hi, now I may you English for you. We have one-on-one -on -one group business conversation, daily conversation for all levels in Taipei and Kaohsiung, so join us now. And now check out the video. Hi, welcome back. So now we're gonna look at preposition number two, which we get a lot of confusion about, and that is for. I talked about for a long time ago. Uh, for is indicating the direction, the benefit for somebody else. For example, I buy something for you, okay? And maybe you can do something for everybody else. One person will speak for the company. That person's called a spokesperson. Maybe something, the company did something very bad and now there's all the reporters asking questions. So one person is speaking for the company. So on behalf of, yeah, behalf of, for. <laughs> Uh, we could also use for for help. So, can you do something for me? Okay, can you help me? What? Nothing, I forgot. And the reason why you do something. So, you are watching these videos. Thank you. Why? Because I want to improve my English. Why? For work. Or for travel. Why are you learning English? I'm Engli learning English for myself, okay? And also the direction of where something is going, its destination. If you go to the train station, you'll, you'll maybe hear the train for Taipei is leaving in five minutes, okay? For that place. And that's four. If you liked it, and it did help you. Thumbs up, subscribe, and share. And next time, we'll get into fro. Bye.